If we could journey inside our cells into a cell, we would see 23 pairs of chromosomes packed into a nucleus. Each chromosome contains a long coil of DNA. If all the chromosomes were unwound, the DNA in just one of our cells would stretch six feet long. The DNA double helix contains four kinds of building blocks. An A always pairs with a T, a C with a G. DNA contains information to make every part of our bodies with its four-letter language. Each of our thousands of genes codes for a specific part. To understand our molecular cells, scientists have read the three billion letters making up the DNA in the human genome. In 1953, James D. Watson and Francis Crick proposed the model showing the molecular structure of DNA. Two DNA strands intertwine to form a double helix. Each strand has a backbone composed of phosphate and sugars to which the bases are attached. The bases form the core of the double helix while the sugar phosphate backbones are on the outside. The two grooves between the backbones are called the major and minor groove based on their sizes. Most protein DNA contacts are made in the major groove because the minor groove is too narrow. The DNA backbone is assembled from repeating deoxyribose sugar units linked through phosphate groups. Each phosphate carries a negative charge, making the entire DNA backbone highly charged and polar. A cyclic base is attached to each sugar. The bases are planar and extend out perpendicular to the path of the backbone. Pyrimidine bases are composed of one ring and purine bases of two rings. Adjacent bases are aligned so that their planar wings stack on one another. Base stacking contributes significantly to the stability of the double helix. In a double helix, each base on one strand is paired to a base on the other strand that lies in the same plane. In these base pairing interactions, guanine always pairs with cytosine and thiamine with adenine. A GC pair is stabilized by three hydrogen bonds formed between amino and carbino groups that project from the bases. In contrast, an AT pair is stabilized by two hydrogen bonds. The specificity of base pairing that is C always pairing with G and A always pairing with T ensures that the two strands are always complementary. This is important for DNA replication and transcription. DNA replication is defined as the process by which an organism's original DNA is used as a template for the production of a new complementary DNA strand. Short sections of a DNA molecule are referred to as genes and they determine the characteristics of a life form. DNA is the substance that controls the form and function of every living plant and animal on Earth. It is key to life. Different sets of genes interacting with complex environmental factors influence things like our looks, personalities and risk for diseases like cancer and heart disease. A growing understanding of our genes and all that they do will help us understand the complexity and the wonder of life.